We're gonna do a review on this kitchen scale. It's a pretty simple one. It has a calorie and carb counter. And it's also useful for a lot of other things than just kitchen food. All right, we'll open it up. And there it is. We'll pull out these battery tabs. So it'll turn on. And it turned on, that's great. So there's milliliters, pounds, grams, ounces, back to milliliters. And it has an 11 pound capacity. The box, if we stick that on there, looks to be about 66 grams. And if you wanna zero it out, you just hit the tear button, give it a second, and then it'll zero. Now that we have the box zeroed, if we wanted to measure anything inside the box, like some old batteries, I guess that's not exactly kitchen stuff, but now we know there's 364 grams of batteries inside the box. If you go through the different food modes here, like for instance, if these batteries were sausages, it looks like that would be 40.6, oh, 137 calories and 40.6 CHO. And looking here, it says the selection indicator to food type to show estimated calories and carbs on the display. So that's what it's switching in between. And as for batteries, it takes two CR2032s. So when you have to replace those, it'll be a pretty penny. Just to see how precise it is, this is a one gram bar of fine silver. See if it looks like it's staying at zero. It can't do one gram. And conclusion, I don't think it's super accurate. It doesn't really differentiate between one or two grams. And I don't really like the batteries. I like a little more readily available batteries, not the circle ones, the coin cells that are a little bit more expensive. But the feature with the calorie counting and stuff like that is pretty cool. And if you're using it for cooking, I can see that being pretty useful.